Hello, welcome to Flipped. So today we are on rusting, and rusting is when iron, Fe, becomes iron 3 oxide, Fe2O3. This is Fe2O3 because uh, iron 3 is Fe3+, plus, whereas oxide is O2-. minus. Okay, so we learned before that the charges will just change place, right? Okay, so it becomes Fe2O3. Okay, the conditions is that oxygen and water has to be present. So actually without oxygen and water, okay, iron will not rust. But because oxygen and water is present all around us in the air, uh, iron rusts very easily, okay, to become iron trioxide. And so there are five ways to prevent rusting, okay. First one is painting. So what we do is really just to coat this object surface with a layer of paint. So you can see that this is my uh, iron bar, okay. Then I just okay dip uh my paintbrush into paint and just paint it over, okay, so that we can decrease the uh chance of iron exposing to air, okay, and hopefully it won't rust. But this way it won't stay that it won't stay um rust free forever. So we have to keep repainting time after time, okay. It's used in areas such as uh, large steel object uh ships and vehicles. Okay, next way is to grease. Uh, which is to coat object surface with a layer of oil and or grease. Okay, so you can see that uh, these are my machineries. Okay, I'm just uh, applying oil to the um, layers. Okay, to the the wheels. Okay, so it won't rust. And it's, uh, we also use oil because it can lubricate at the same time. Okay, so it serves uh, two purposes with one action. Okay, the third way is to use uh, plating. So plating is when we deposit a layer of tin or chromium on an object. Okay, so you can see that uh this is my uh tin plating is for food cans. Okay, all these are uh, metal platings. Okay, next one is using chromium plating, which is you can see this is actually a bike frame, a bicycle frame, and you can see that it's very shiny because it's being coated by chromium. Okay, um next one is called galvanizing, which is really just to coat object with zinc by dipping object into the molten zinc and let it cool. So you can see my whole car here is being dipped into molten zinc and it will be um, surrounded by a layer of uh, zinc. Then I will just uh, take it out of the this bathtub, okay? Then I will let it cool. And after a while, it will just form on the car. Okay, so for example, you can use uh, galvanized iron sheets. Okay, that means we can use the iron sheets to be galvanized with zinc, okay? And then we will uh, use it as rooftops. Okay, and one thing I want to highlight is that zinc is usually for, uh, sorry, galvanizing is, is usually used only for zinc 2 plus. Okay, using zinc as a coating agent. It's quite rare that we use other materials to coat it and we call it galvanizing. Okay, Usu usually this term is just reverse, reserved for zinc. Okay, finally, we have this thing called sacrificial protection, which is quite interesting. Uh, let me explain. It's when you attach blocks of more reactive metals to objects that needs to be protected. So, for example, here I have my ship hull. Okay, I this is made of met, This is made of all iron. Let's say, okay. Then I attach. Okay, this one a zinc. Because we know that zinc is more reactive than iron. Okay, in the the reactivity table. Okay, um, this more reactive metal will react with air and water preferentially. So what, what does it mean is that when this two, okay, you can see that iron, this one, or these are iron, okay, and zinc, they come into contact with water and air at the same time, right? Because when the ship is underwater, okay, only the zinc will be um, reacted, but with the air and water, okay? And the iron will just stay as it is. Okay, this one is a bit um, counterintuitive because we still can see that the iron is being exposed, but this is just how it works, okay? The zinc is so reactive that it will just react away all the surrounding air and water molecules to make sure that the iron does not rust. Okay, and this is uh so there are two to be two applications. First one is a ship house, okay, which is the bottom of the ship. You can see all these blocks here. These are zinc blocks, and underwater steel pipes we attach magnesium blocks. Okay, all these are just a uh, memorization. Okay, and that is all for uh rusting and how to prevent rusting.